A national summit was held all day long at the White House addressing all the hate and violence in America. This national summit is in response to acts of hate across the country, including the TOPS mass shooting. News Force Jeff Preval has the message from families of top shooting victims. Jeff? Well, Jackie and Don, it's now been four months since the TOPS mass shooting, and several of the families are still pushing for a federal ban on assault weapons and a federal law on black hate crimes. They're also trying to address the root cause of crime based on hate. Gun violence is, is a big problem. Uh, the mental health piece uh, is a big, all of these things are very pertinent, but uh, at, the, at the core of all of them is hate, is racism, is bigotry, and this country was founded on that. Garnell Whitfield, the son of Ruth Whitfield, who was killed in the Tops mass shooting, won't stop until racism is addressed in the United States and that systemic racism is defeated. The Whitfields met with Vice President Kamala Harris yesterday at UB. They believe the Biden administration hears them. For the president to convene uh, such a summit uh, uh, and talk about hate and racism and bigotry and those kinds of things in America that have caused our people uh, throughout history, uh, you know, to be challenged, to be treated differently. I mean, that's that's the beginning of the healing process. Today's summit was attended by leaders from across the country, from business, government, and civil rights. Zanetta Everhart is also there. Her son, Zaire Goodman, was shot several times at Tops and survived. She's grabbing the ears of lawmakers in Washington, demanding change. These assault rifles, it's out of control. An 18-year-old does not need assault rifle. No one needs an, 18, an AR-15. No one needs that type of gun, and our lawmakers can do something about that. So I want to see them do it. While closing out the summit, President Joe Biden referenced the Tops mass shooting, saying evil will not win. He also said this. I am not going to stop till we ban assault weapons. We have to ban assault weapons. I mean it. We did it once before. Garnell Whitfield says that he will return to Washington, D.C. one week from today to march for the passage in the U.S. Senate of a ban on assault weapons. That bill has already been passed by the House. President Biden, as you heard there, says that he supports that effort, but that bill has not been approved in the Senate. Jeff Perral, News 4.